I'm coming back here on Wednesday to find out more, but I just met Dan, he's the owner, and he's in there somewhere, and it's so good. If you see it, don't be shy, come in, super good. There's the old girl, got me here in fine style. There's Dave, my riding companion. That's Palmy, where I was actually talking about going this morning, and I didn't. Life's good. What do you reckon, Dave? We done? We're going to keep pedalling? Yeah. All right. Tourism with Rob and Dave. Yeah. So we've just done a bike switch, yeah. and Dave's taken the old Cervelo Caledonia, and I'm on his Bianchi. <laughs> um, he's a bit taller than me, but I'm okay. And he's a bit stretched out, because I know, because I'm on his bike, and it's pretty short. But check it out. Nice. There's my bike. Very nice. So, Dave, what do you reckon? What's yeah. your first thought? Ooh. It's lovely, it's light. <laughs> Feels like a different machine to the Bianchi, which is uh, 12 year old technology, I guess. And uh, feels like it'd be lovely to go downhill on this bike. But it's cruising up the hill pretty nicely and real smooth. That's I like neat. the tyres. I feel more secure, I reckon, and it's a softer ride, a softer, smoother ride. Just click, clicked up a little, that's it. And then we're just gonna I'll get you to go up into the big ring again. So double paddles. Okay. Two paddles at once. Yeah, that's it. And you're done. How's that? Easy? Nice. And then two paddles down. Oh yeah, and it's quite a... Off you go. Yeah. I'll see you later. Alright. Alright. How good's that? You just flip bikes and get someone else to do the bike test for you. He's gone. Shit. I don't know how much that bike's worth, but it's going up the road. Better chase him down. Now I've taken photos for my food. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay. They, this this place, I don't even know what it's called, but every bike rider in Sydney will know it soon. Look at this, hang on. You're getting the picture. Like, the picture is this. So they came around and said, would you like a cold towel? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like we're at the 70, no, what are we, 80 kilometre mark, and we still got, I don't know, 30, 40k to get home. Would you like a cold towel? <laughs> yeah, heaps. So, I don't know the name of the place, but it's been open three weeks and I'm coming here again. It looks like this. Really awesome. Pineapple juice and water. Pineapple juice and water. I'll say it twice because I'm just. I'm actually a bit ruined. Ruined. I'm tired. Second day in a row, it's not had a soft landing. I'm tired actually now. I got up at, uh, I don't know, what was it, 5.23, and I told you at the beginning of the day, or I told you shortly after I got up, that I was planning on, um, the aim was to, the aim, talk, I'm just gonna empty my pockets. Um, the aim was to achieve 103 kilometers, so I did that. Woohoo, so, um, that's a 500 kilometer week for me. Which might not sound like a lot, you know, especially given the company that I keep and you know, the people that I speak to pretty regularly who are out there doing 500 kilometers in a day. Yeah, Rupert, I'm thinking about you. Richie, Cam Worth, those guys, they just go out and ride and ride and ride. But anyway, I can't do that. I'm just, um, I'm older than them too. Not Rupert, but anyway, so I hit my mark. Good on me. Victory salute. Um, and then I bumped into Dave. That was great. It was a good experience. And for the second time this week, I've sort of rolled up next to someone, next to someone on a rim brake, kind of older style Shimano equipped bike. And we've gotten talking. And I've said to them, "Look, you really should try a modern bike." Both Glenn the other day and then Dave today, they said, okay. Well, I didn't really give them much choice, to be honest, with Dave today. We were pedalling along, we were down near Akuna Bay, and we were just about to go up that hill, one of them. And I said, all right, 
try my bike. And I just, I said, you got Shimano pedals? He said, yep. Bump, and we unclipped. And then I handed him my bike and he didn't know. Well, he was like, okay, cool, I'll do it. So I've got a little bit of footage, I'll run that. Uh, that might be in the actual ride, story of my ride. And now this is the post ride review summary. I'll have to think of a title for it, but I'll try and straighten up my jersey. I'll try and keep the shoes on just for like two more minutes while I talk about the ride. Uh, I don't know if I can say too much other than, oh, hang on, I forgot, I did unload my pockets, but I didn't. Look at that. Like seriously, the guys from Tempo said, you can take that. And no, I was joking. I said, they came along with this little tray. I'm, I'm sort of embarrassed that I didn't film it, but they, it was all iced like that. They were in layers and they had little sheets of plastic between each layer. Would you like an iced towel? Hell yeah, of course. So it was like, you know, pre-flight cleansing, boom, ba da boom, you know, clean, you know, rehydrating and cooling down and cleaning up, pink, like that. Then just while I was having my coffee and the heat, I just put a bit of water on it and I jammed it down the back there like that. And then I was saying goodbye to Dan and I said, look, I'm going to pinch this towel. He said, yeah, yeah, cool, no problem. So I did. So first class, that's tempo. Um, that's my review, I reckon, for today. I'm not going to talk about the bike. I'm done with it. I am interested to see how far I went. So just, I'll just stop, hang on, and ride, yes. Uh, is it going to give me a summary? So 110 kilometers, 0.4, poof. Uh, average speed, or 24.9, sorry about that. Maximum 74. Elevation gain, about 1,700 meters. Oh, where is it? It's gone. Oh, 1,687 metres. Woohoo! All right, well, that's, that's good enough for me. Um, so that'll go on the old Strava soon. And that'll mean, for the first time in ages, I've done a 500 kilometre week. Keep saying that. Anyway, evidently I'm proud of it. Um, it's time to take off the shoes, get in the shower, clean up, and get on with the rest of the day. I think I'm going to go up to the mangrove walk at Bob and Head because it's a beautiful day and I like to look at crabs. So I spoke with Tim Kerrison years ago after we go on the Tour de France and I said, okay, what's your big secret? You know, what did you do? And he didn't say anything about a jiffy duck. Oh, sorry, Tim. He didn't say anything. Like He basically said, look, we looked at a few different things and one of the interesting things he wanted to tell me was that they did a study about different um, hydrating programs. He said, if you use, if you put a little bit of pineapple juice in with water and have that after a ride, it's great. It's really good for, I don't know, rehydrating, uh, absorption, getting some, getting, you know, getting the vibe again, just getting back to a little bit of rehydration land. So I've been doing that for ages and I recommend it. As you can see, that's in a Stoda stream bottle. So, you know, just like all you need is about, in a bottle like that, seven, whatever that is, I put about that much pineapple juice and the rest is water. And it's delicious. You didn't need to see me drink, but better than seeing me eat a protein bar like you did yesterday. So, um, all right. That's my ride. Tempo, go there. It's really good. You'll be surprised. The birch and muesli, delicious. Got me home. Easy. Bit windy out there today. Bit hot. But a lot of fun. And a lot, a lot, a lot of bike riders. G'day. How's it going? Alright. 